as we are going to jump into our next exercise, which is going to start with a design that is not a font first. So I have a blank screen up here and I'm going to bring up my Sailboat 5 design. So again, I'm going to go to Merge Design. Again, you have to find out where you put your Sailboat design that is in your material section. Go get mine. So we're going to go here to Sailboat 5. Click on open. Left click to place it. So here is our Sailboat 5 design. So I'm going to actually unthumbtack my properties. And I'm going to open up that sequence view. Make this a little wider. So in your sequence view, again, similar to what we had in the filter, it's another way of filtering, selecting, and being able to keep track of what's going on in your design. So when you have your sequence view open, you should see all of the different colors in the order that they appear in the design. So that's your sewing order of colors. If you click and open one of those colors, it shows you all of the segments inside. Again, if you click again, see that toggles on and off. The other great thing about having the sequence view is that instead of drawing boxes in order to select something, if it's a color, you can actually just click a whole color. So you can see if I start to open up this ship's wheel that we're going to get rid of, it is a ton. It goes from 66 all the way to 118. That's, That's how many sections it takes, takes to make up that ship's wheel. wheel. And I, I want to delete it out of here. So, so to delete it, I can just click on that color. It selects every segment in that color without me drawing a box. Then I can go ahead and hit delete. Okay, so that deleted that whole section. But... Now, now that, that I deleted, deleted it, I caused myself another issue. issue. So now, now I have to fix the waves. So, so I'm going to click on the waves. And then I've got some other tools up here that help me to hide some other things. things. So, so you, you have hide selected and you have hide unselected. So I can go hide unselected. So once I go to hide unselected, I can click outside the box. Because what I'm going to do is there's two ways that I can actually fix this. I can just drag these together, kind of similar to dragging the edge of the word trucking. Or I can delete a section and move it all the way across. So we're going to look at both of those. So I'm going to select the edge of this. You can always zoom in if you can't see. You're going to go to your vertex select tool. I'm, I'm going to start, start by clicking, clicking and dragging a box around those two items. items. I'm, I'm going, going to move them, but again, you can see that, that I have to deselect select and then move, move this by itself. I, I can right click, add an anchor, right click, add an anchor. Hit G for generate. generate. Now, I've, I've got, got two things going on here that I have, have to fix. fix. So, so I'm going to hit the letter S for select. So, so the first thing is you can see this green dot over here, and you've got this whole running stitch kind of making a mess of itself. So I want to take this start bead and move it as close as I can get to where I ended the other piece. So that's over here. So, so I can do that, that hit G for generate. generate. So, so you, you can see it put a running stitch over here. here. But now, now that I bent that wave to kind of make it wavy, I have the underlay kind of sticking out here. So, so I can select that, go back to my vertex select, 
Grab those points. Move them inside. G for generate. Now we set our other option was to come over here. I'm going to delete this piece so I can select it. Hit delete on my keyboard. I'm going to select that running stitch that went underneath of it. So then I'm going to come over here to my vertex select tool. Grab these couple points. Hit delete. Again, remember G for generate. Otherwise, you're going to move those same points again. So now... I can, I can select this piece, piece. vertex select, select, grab the two end points, move this guy over, add an anchor, add an anchor, then you can reshape these waves. Hit generate. Go, Go back to your select arrow. arrow. Then, then you can, can take this green bead, move it as close, close as you can get, get to this one. one. Generate. Now, now if you think, think that this is, gonna, is going to hang out, you can always select that running stitch. stitch. Go, Go into your vertex select tool. tool. And move that, that in. So we've got this piece here that we're going to grab our vertex select, put a box around those, move it, generate. So those are fixed. So to bring those all back, I can hit that eyeball and it brings everything back. So you've got the eyeball here, you've also got the eyeball there. It's going to work both in both places. So now to close that up again, I can hit minus up here, or I can scroll up and do it next to the color. This is like to close all. So this is open all, close all, and then you've got one next to each piece. All right, so we fixed that. So the next thing I want to do because I want to make each of those birds a different color, and then, then I'm going to make the bird on the right larger. larger. So, so again, I can click over here on the green for the birds. birds. I'm, I'm going to go to hide unselected. unselected. I'm going to add a couple extra colors to my palette that I have to work with. So I can come over here to my thread chart and just start adding colors that you want to use for your birds. So, so I can click, click and drag, select, select a color. color. Click, click and drag, select a color. Click and drag, select a color. Click click drag, now I can take this one and drag it to make it bigger. bigger. I could also go up to the top and hit resize, either way. way. So now I can go ahead and hit that eyeball. So if you look at it, see how the bird is underneath my border right now? That's because of the sewing order. So if I need to change the sewing order, I can actually click on this bird, click and drag so that the bird is after the border. So, so then it's, it's going to be, be on top. top. Right. right. If, if you don't, don't like that color, color yes, yeah, so you can always change this. this. So, so you, you can come, come in here, go to thread, thread change. change. So, so you can, can look, look for another color. color. So, so if you want, want, I don't know, let's see. Let's, let's make it this funky. I don't know. Let's make it this color. 
So whatever, so whatever color, color you want, want that to be, be is fine. fine. So, so now, the last thing we're going to do is put, put some lettering inside, inside that banner, and then, and then we're, we're going to make it slant to fit the banner. banner. So, so I'm going to come in here, and again, this is a box. So I want to go ahead and choose my line angle tool because my line angle tool is going to allow me to draw a box. I'm going to go into my properties. I'm going to switch my text justify to fill the box. And I'm going to go in and pick my branch for new. Say I pick my purple here for my color. Left click to start this. Draw your, your line, line. Pull, pull up, up to get the height of my text. text. Let's see if I can spell today. There, there we go. go. So, so here this is in the box. box. So, so now I want, want to make it slant, slant to fit. fit. So if you click on your vertex select tool, you're going to see there's an edit envelope. So if you click and drag, and then click and drag over here, hit generate, and there's our words. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions on that? As far as how do we fix the lettering, yeah, we can do the lettering again. All right, let's delete the lettering. Oh, make sure you're back in your vertex select, I mean, in your select tool, otherwise you can't delete anything. All right, so we're going to go back and remember we're getting our line angle tool because we can draw a box with it. I went, I went over, over into properties. properties. I, I changed my text justify to fill the box. box. That, that way I knew the lettering would fill the box that I drew. I changed my font. So again, I'm going to draw the box. Pull up to get the height of your text. Once you do that, you're going to come back over here under your vertex select tool. You have edit envelope. Then you can just start moving the points on the envelope. Remember to hit G for generate. Then go back to your select tool. So if you wanted to see what hoop this fit in, again, remember with any of our hoop selections, you do have to be at zero, zero. So I'm going to actually line this design up. And yes, I'm really hoping that Pulse fixes that. It's like we said, it really doesn't make a difference if your design is sitting at zero, zero, but obviously for your hoop, it does. 
So, so once, once you have that, that then, then you can go, go into, into hoop, hoop and, and load. I'm going to go, go to my square, square hoop. hoop. And the, and the ones, ones that are, are in my starter kit, kit are the ones with the big long part, part numbers. numbers. So let's say I go with the 30 by 30 square. square. There you go. go. Yes, you, you could, could put, put this onto a garment, garment to view it, it by going into view, 3D view. I went, I went down to garments. Garment. And again, again you, you can see right, right now it's on my apron. Um, here, sweatshirt front. Here, let's, let's go gray sweatshirt front. front. So, so once, once it's here, here you, you can always move, move it to wherever, wherever you want, want it to be. Um, um, if it's not on the list, list um, all, all of your hoops are actually DXF files. Um, so you, so you have, have to be able to create a DXF file in your art program. program. In, in order, order for it, it to go, go into, into the hoop directory. directory. So, so if it's, it's not there, then it means again, again you, you could create a hoop and put it in the hoop directory. directory. Um, I, don't I don't know if they're, they're going to add any, any other hoops at this point. point. Yeah, as far as adding extra garments in your materials section, section there is a handout for adding garments to that, that directory. So there is that, that in your materials. materials. All right. Does anyone, anyone have any questions on this before we jump into our next exercise, which is going to be some more resequencing? resequencing. So, so I'm going to do a design, design for a cap. So remember, remember if you do like, like your wizards, wizards you want to set up your fabric type, you can pick cap. Since this one has a specific purpose in life. In life. All right. So, so I picked my cap recipe, but I'm still going to have to make sure I do the order. So what I'm going to do is put up the word soccer. And then instead of... The letter O, I'm going to put a soccer ball, ball in its place. place. So, so I'm going to start off with my text baseline. I'm going to go ahead and start to draw my line. Hit my enter key. Put up, put up everything, everything but, but my O. o. Again, Again, personal, personal preference. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at block. block. You can pick, pick a font. font. Then, then what I'm going to do is merge in the soccer ball. ball. And Again, you have, have that in your material section. section. So I'm, I'm going to go to merge. And go grab my soccer ball. ball. So I'm, so I'm going, going to click, click on open, open. Left, left click to place it. it. Again, Again easiest, easiest thing to do, especially deal with this one, one because we're going to be making, making it smaller and manipulating and all, all of that kind of stuff. stuff. I'm going to click on those two colors, colors. So, so it selects, selects them. them. I, can I can go up to segment, segment and, and select, select group. group. So now, so now those, those are grouped together. together. Then, then what, what I, I can do is make, make it smaller. smaller. 
Yes, this, this is, is a PXF, PXF file. file. So, so not, not only is it changing, changing the size, size it is changing, changing the stitch count. count. So, so now I can start moving, moving these letters, letters so, so that, that they're spaced correctly. correctly. Yes, yes, this, this is, is why, why I did not change, change it from text to segments yet. yet. I hold that pretty good. good. All, right. All right. So, so now, now what I, I want to do is I want to, to with my lettering selected, I want to go in and convert, convert this from text to segments. Because I'm going to reorder these so that I can stick the soccer ball in between the C and the S. So I'm going to select this, this C because I need it to sew first. first. I'm going, I'm going to drag, drag it to the beginning, the beginning of my sequence. sequence. I'm, going I'm going to select the soccer ball. ball. Again, Again, you, you could drag, drag it or you can use cut and paste. paste. So, so this is actually, actually cut if you want to do it that way. way. Then, then you want to select what you want it to sew in front of. And again, you can come up here. So you've got your different items up here. So, so you, you could, could paste, paste it, it or, again, again Control-V, control it's paste. Is paste. So, right so right now, now it's in the right sewing right order, so sewing in the, the, center, the center C, soccer ball, ball the S, and then C-E-R. The only thing that we need to change is the start and stop point on this letter. So I'm going to flip the stop point over here. So when, when we start sewing, sewing this C, it's, it's going to start from the center, center of my hat. I want, I want it to stop close to where I'm going to next, which is my soccer ball. ball. And, then and then the same, same thing, thing, I want that S to start closest to where, where I ended. ended. Oops. There we go. Grab, grab this stop Start B, move it over there. Ready with me? So you Do you have any questions, questions on this one? one? Cause I'm, Cause I'm gonna save, save this to use in our next exercise. exercise. So again, so again make sure you're, sure you're saving, saving that, that PXF, PXF file. Cause that, that is our changeable file. file. In our, in our next exercise, exercise what we're going to do, do is take that soccer design that we just created, and we're going to set up the design for a hat that has that soccer design in the, in the center front, front of the cap, cap. and then, and then we, we want to put, put a number on one side. side. So again, I can go to File New. New. I can still pick the cap recipe to put in the settings. For that, for that fabric. fabric. Now, now to do this, this one, one, I need to have the hat hoop up, up so, so I know where to put it. it. So, so I can come up here and go to hoop and load. I'm going to go, go to the cap hoop and I want, and I want the front, front wide. wide. So again, so again if, if I put that up at the beginning, it does zero out those rulers. And I can put in a guideline here and a guideline here. So that is dead center of the front panel of my cap. So again, you can see that's dead center. So then I have to put a guideline where I'm going to put the number. Now, because you're going to sew your hats upside down, the line for where your number is going to be is in the opposite side of where your customer wants it. So, so if they, they want it on the left-hand left side of the hat, hat you're going to put it on the right-hand right side of the screen. Of the screen. So, so my hats here are five and, five and a half inches from the center, center seam. seam. 
to, to the, panel the panel on the side, side where my number is going to go. go. Again, Again, you're not, not going to have to measure every hat in the box. box. If, if you, you change style, so if you went, you went from a ball cap to a flex fit, fit or, a or a ball cap to a low profile, profile they, they may have, have different amounts that, that you would have to change, change that, that to. But, but if you are just picking hats, hats out of the box, box unless they're fitted hats, so it's a totally, totally different scenario, scenario then every hat in the box that's the same style should be the same distance. So, so I'm going, going to go, go to, to my merge design. design. I'm going to get, gonna my, get my soccer, soccer design. design. Left, Left click to place it. it. Now, now I'm going to go put in. in. Yeah, yes, you would, you would have, have to know, know that before you set this up. up. So you'd have to measure, measure the hat in advance. advance. So, so then, then we, we are, are going, going to, to get, our get our text tool. tool. I, I can left, left click wherever, wherever I want the number to be. To be. Put, Put in, in my, my number. number. So, you, so can you can see where, where the start, start, the start, start position, position just went, went to. to. So, so the, the system, system as a whole starts and stops the design dead center of the design as a whole. In our case, I put this into a hoop exactly where I want it positioned, but I don't want to have to measure from the center front over to where this ends up. So I want to reset the start and stop position of my design. So I'm going to go over here to the traffic light. Once I'm on the traffic light, I'm going to go to user defined. Once, Once I'm under, under user, user defined, defined wherever, wherever I click, click next, next is where, is where that's, that's going to be. be. Right. right, so, so again, again, let me zoom a little bit. So it's a so hair, hair off, off so, so I can go here. here. Go, to go to user, user defined. defined. And again, and again and click, click right, right here. here. So, so now, now all I have, I have to do is center my needle dead center of the hat frame, frame so that so front, front panel, panel of my hat. hat. It's, it's going to know to sew out my soccer, soccer design, design, so it's going to go sew so the C, the soccer, the soccer ball, the S, the C, the E, e and the R. It's going to rotate, and it's going to sew the 17, and it's going to go back to the center of the cap. Anybody have any questions on anything we've done up till now? Because we're going to get into stitch editing next. Right. Everything we've done up till now has been outline editing. I didn't, I didn't add, add a stop. stop. You, you want to just see, see the stop, the, stop, the traffic, traffic light? Traffic, traffic light's, light's always here. here. If you turn, turn on your show commands, commands you're going to see it on your screen. screen. So I didn't, so I didn't add, add it. it. It's there. I just moved, moved it. it. So you have, so you have to have your show commands to see that. Does anyone, Does anyone have, have any, any other, other questions? questions? All right. All right. So we're going to start, start 
So we are going, going to jump, jump into our stitch, our stitch editing. editing. It, it wouldn't matter, matter if the 17 was on either side, side you'd have to measure that out. Um, you, still you still have, have to rotate, rotate your design. design. So, it so it shouldn't be backwards. Be backwards. I, mean, I mean, if you just, you just put it on the other side, side of your screen, it's not going to be backwards. You'd, you'd still, still do the design, design in the center, center first, and it, and it would rotate, rotate that, that direction. direction. All right. So, so I am going, going to jump into our, our stitch, stitch editing. editing. So again, so again just remember with your stitch, stitch files, files they're, they're the ones, ones if you are going, going to sew something, something on your machine, it needs a stitch file. file. So, again, so again, those would be your DFT files. files. Um, they, might they might be your TBF files. files. They, they could be Melco expanded. So again, so again something, something that, that is not one of the outline, outline file formats we've been working on. on. So I'm so going to go ahead and start a new file. file. Once, Once I've started that new file, file then what I'm going to do is merge in my stitch file, file design. So first, so first of all, I've got to tell it where my designs are. are. And, and I'm going to change this to a, a DST. DST. So once, so once I, click I click on the file that I'm going to use, that's, that's a DST, DST file. file. What you're, what you're going to notice is right below, below my preview boxes, boxes this box is going to become active. active. So, so if you, if you click, click on it, you've got, got three choices. choices. Mm. So, so if, if you go, go ahead, ahead and you just say word stitch, stitch file, file. there is absolutely, absolutely nothing we can do to that file. So we're so not even going to deal with that. So we're going to so not even deal with merge a stitch file. file. We're going to look at merge as stitch segments, segments and convert stitches, stitches to outlines. outlines. So we're so going to start, start off with merge as stitch segments. segments. Again, Again, when you, when you merge something as stitch, stitch segments, it's still going to be stitch segments on a new outline window. window. So, if so if you go ahead, ahead and you make that larger and smaller, the stitch count still won't change. change. But, that but that doesn't, doesn't mean that you can't edit that file. file. So, when so when you keep something as stitch segments, it's going to maintain the original integrity of the design. It's just going to divide it up based on color changes trims or, or any, any other command, command that it decides it can divide up by. If you convert something from stitches to outlines, outlines again, it is a conversion. conversion. Okay, okay, so it, so it is converting it. it. So, you, so are you are telling the computer, the computer to be the digitizer. So it's got to so pick what stitch types to use. It's, it's got to put in commands, commands where it thinks it needs it. it. It's, it's going to have to put in, in what other underlays it thinks it needs, what whole comps it thinks it needs. It thinks it needs. So, it's so it's going to have to do all of that. Sometimes, Sometimes it does a really, really good job. job. Sometimes you end up putting in a lot of time editing something that's been converted. converted. Especially, Especially a lot of our home formats. formats. I've noticed a lot of people bringing in home formats off of Etsy or wherever you're getting them from. When you, when you bring them in and you convert them, them it loses all, all the trim commands. commands. So, so, again, again that, that might be quite a bit of editing to go ahead, ahead and make that trim again. again. So, the, so only the only time, time that you really have to change something from stitches to outlines is when you need to resize it more than 10%. 10%. Then, 
or if you need to change something like COCOM, density, or underlay. So we are going to start off with merge as stitch segments. I'm going to go ahead and open this. Place it on my screen. Like we said, it is dividing it up, in this case by color. So, so you can, you can definitely, definitely edit, edit while, while it is still stitches. stitches. So, so if I don't want dots, dots on that party hat, hat I, can I can just click, click on those blue dots, dots hit delete, delete on my keyboard, keyboard and, they're, and gone. they're gone. Okay. okay. If, if I, I want another set of wine, wine glasses, glasses over here, here I, can I can select those two, two items that make up the wine glasses. I can, I can come, come over, over here to, to duplicate. duplicate. I can left click, click to place them. them. Hit my, my enter key, key and, and I've got an extra set, set of glasses. glasses. If I, I want to change the color, color of these glasses. glasses. So let's, so let's say, say I want to click on that tomato, tomato red and I want to make them purple. I can make them purple. If I want to select this and make them pink. I can make that pink. Where you start getting into having to use the true stitch edit tools is when it's something that you actually are changing and this is all one piece. So let's say that I need a color change so I can make each thing of the liquid inside the glasses, our wine here, two different colors. So, so first of all, all I am going, going to hide unselected and even make my background, background a different color because I can't see. see. There, we, there go. we go. So I'm, I'm going to go, go ahead, ahead and get, get my stitch, stitch edit, edit tools. tools. So again, so your stitch edit tools are over here. here. So, so see, you've got stitch select, lasso stitch select, stitch select and you've got a stitch eraser. So I'm going to go to stitch select. So again, so again, I want to kind of find some place, place close to you where, I, where think I think I need to be. be. So I'm going to so click there. there. Again, remember, remember you can start going, going forward. forward. So you see, see that just did a little lock, lock stitch there? there? So here's, so here's a lock, lock stitch. And then it starts, starts to move because it's trimmed there. there. So, right so right here is where I'd want it to change colors. So after, so after it trims, trims I, want I want it to change colors. colors. So what so I'm going to do is, is right click, click go, to, go command, to command, add a color, a color change. change, and let's, and let's say I want to make this color, color number, number nine. nine. Okay, let's, let's bring, bring all, all this back. back. So again, if you're going to add a color change, if you're going to add a trim, if you're going to delete things, things all, all of that can be done while this is still stitches. stitches. So let's so say let's I want to add a trim between the E and, and the A. So I can go to my stitch select. Again, Again, I always try and find an easy spot, spot to get to. to. So I'm going to so start, start backing up. up. So see, so see, that's like a lock stitch, stitch there? there? So there's, so there's the, lock the lock stitch. stitch. But then, but then it just jumps, jumps over, over here. here. So, so right here, here is where, is where the trim needs, needs to be. To be. So I'm going to so right click here, here go to command, add a trim. Now, now the key, the key is, is here, though, I added a trim, a trim but because, because it jumped over here before without, without trimming, there's, there's no lock, lock stitch, because usually, usually it doesn't have to lock, to lock if, there's if there's no trim. No trim. So, I so I have to go to where it jumps over here, here and, to and to add that lock stitch, stitch I, can't I can't just turn it on. I have to right click, go to insert stitch, and I'm going to do it after. So I'm going to do it after. 
the one, the that, one it that it did. So I'm just kind of going, going back and forth, and forth trying, to trying to use that length, length of that, of that stitch, stitch as a guide, as a guide and then and hit my, hit my enter, enter key. key. Now, now obviously, obviously, this is, is a stitch file. file. There, is, there no is no font associated, associated here. I can't, I can't just go and retype the date. The date. So, so I'm going to have to try and match that, that up. And then, and then I'm going to delete, delete 2000. 2000. So, so first, first of all, so I can start matching it up. It up. I want to go, go ahead, ahead and lock this, this to the screen so I don't accidentally move it around while I'm putting things on top of it. So that's what that lock here does. It's not, it's not a lock, a lock stitch. stitch, it's, it's locking, locking that, that object to the screen. To the screen. So, when so when I start, I start to put things on top of it, of it I can move them around and it's, and it's not going to affect whatever's, whatever's underneath. underneath. So, now so now I can go, I can go over, over here, here grab, grab my wine angle tool, tool left, left click, click draw, draw my line, pull up to get the height of my text. So we so can we see that this font does not, not match. It's close, it's close, but, but I probably, probably wouldn't use it. So you, so can, you come can come over here to properties, here to properties and start, start selecting. selecting. So, so that one's got, got more, more curve, curve to it, but still not the same. The same. So, you so you can start, start going through, through your, different your different fonts until you found it. Again, so we're not sitting here all day. That is Hobo New. So, so I'm, I'm going, going to, to select Hobo New. New. Again, I can start to move this around. So with so this, you're going to have, have to kind of wing it. it. So, here's so here's the zero. zero. And move this guy over, over here. here. All right. So we've, so we've got, got that lined, lined up. So, so then, then what we're, what we're gonna, gonna do is bring, is bring it up. up. So, it's so it's in the right, in the right sewing, sewing order. order. Then what I wanna, what I wanna do, do is hide this, this one so I can hit the eyeball. eyeball. Unlock this. this. So that's, so that's unlocked, unlocked now. now. So now, so now I can go, I can go to, to stitch, stitch select, select, click and drag, and drag a box around 2000, 2000. Hit, delete hit delete on my, on my keyboard. keyboard. Now I, now I can go, go and, and Go back, go back to, to my select, select button. button. I can, I can unhide, unhide the 2020. The 2020. So, you so you can definitely, definitely go, in go in here, here and edit, edit your, stitch your stitch file. file. I, yes, I, yes, I, could, I could add another line of text. text. If I want to add text over, over that, that, I mean, I could do whatever, whatever I, want. I want. Just, Just realize that if I change, change the overall size of the design, the only, the only thing here that's going to change stitch count counts right now is the 2020, because that's, that's, that's the only thing on here that is an outline, an outline file, file portion. portion. Now, let's now, let's say that I needed to change the width of these ribbons. Again, obviously, I can go here to stitch select. And I, and I start could start moving these stitches, stitches around. around. I'm going to drive, gonna drive myself, myself bonkers, bonkers trying, to trying to move, move every, every stitch, stitch to get a pull comp. comp. So, that so that being said, said we have what's called selective stitch to outline, outline conversion. conversion. So you don't, so you don't have, have to convert, to convert an entire, entire design. design. So you definitely, so you definitely don't have, have to convert the entire design. design. You can select a section of a design. Go over here to convert stitches to outlines. So it has so converted, converted those ribbons, ribbons over. over. So, since so since it's converted, converted the ribbons, I can, I can go, go over to properties, properties 
go to my, go to my pull com tab, tab and, I, and can I can add that. So I can, so go, I can to go to absolutes. Point point zero two, two, whatever, whatever I want to put there. And now, and now it has made, made those ribbons, ribbons wider. wider. So, so that is adjusting, adjusting but, but it's, not, it's not touching anything else. else. Right, you, right, you can definitely, definitely convert, convert a whole, whole design. design. So, so if, if I, I come, come over here, here and I do the, the same, same thing, thing, I go to my merge design, design. I'm going to find, find my design. design. Let's go up here. Change, Change this, this to DST. DST. Grab, grab this. this. So, I, so can I can come, come over here, here and say stitches, stitches to outlines. outlines. Again, Again, realize, realize when, you when you change this, this it's, going, it's to going to remember the last, the last thing, thing that you did. You did. So, so if you can, can you change, change this to merge stitches to outlines, unless, unless you change it back, it back that's, that's what it's going to want to do next. So, so always, always be aware of what it says here. here. Now, if you now, don't, don't want to convert it here, here you, you can leave, leave this as merge a stitch, stitch file. file. Come over Come here to open. Place it on your... Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't do that. That's not going to let me do it. Yeah, let's go back here. Merge that again. Merge, merge that again. again. Go, to a, go to a DST. Don't go, don't go merge, merge as stitch segments, segments is what I was trying to grab. Let's, Let's go, go here. here. So if I, so go, if I go merge as stitch, stitch segments, segments, place it. Place it. Then, then I can go in, go in here with the whole design, design selected and go, and go stitches, stitches to outlines, outlines and it's going to change. change. Again, Again, sometimes, sometimes it does a really, really good job, good job. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't. Sometimes, sometimes it takes out trims. trims. All of a sudden, sudden this trim is missing. Is missing. Can I come in here and change that? Yeah. So I can select the edge here of the two. But see how, see how it's actually sewing right into this? Into this? So, this so this is like a stitch segment, segment no. still. Didn't exactly, Didn't exactly know what to do with that. With that. So, I, so can I can delete this, this out of here. here. Go back, Go back here. here. Put in, Put in an, an end lock, lock and, and a trim. trim. You can also, you can also see, see it's kind of doing, doing some quirky stitches, stitches over here. here. So we so can go back into... Our direction, our direction lines, lines and, and have, have it go, it go more, more this direction, direction. So, it so it knows how to turn, turn those stitches. stitches. Same, Same thing here. here. And let's go, go back to my angle line tool. tool. Oh, go, back oh, go back to my select tool. tool. Then, go then go back to, to my angle line tool. tool. See how that, how that made such an abrupt stop, stop there? there? Like, like I would rather see it actually do something like that. This is this going, is going way, way over, so I'm going to get rid of this one. one. So, those so those are things, things that you would have to look at, look at and go in and, and correct. correct. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously I, need I need to change the change out. I was just trying, just trying to show, show you what, you, what, what it may do to something, to something that, that you would need to end up correcting. But yes, but yes, you can, you go, can go in as a whole now and, and take, take the whole, whole design, design and come in and, in and change, change it. it. So, it's so it's changing the stitch, the stitch count, count and the size. And the size. Oops. Try and undo that. No, no idea what it is right there. Yeah, it did, yeah, it did not, not like something I just did. Yeah, I think yeah, my, I think my, sec, my, my actually, actually I'm actually frozen over here right now. Is it doing anything? Still here. here. Let's go. Let's go. 
orange, orange is, high. is high. Oh yeah. Oh that yeah, crashed. that crashed it. So it was, so waiting, it was waiting to crash. To crash. Let's bring this back up. Yeah, it actually froze, froze a, while a while back. back. We just didn't see it. All right. All right. Does anyone, Does anyone have any, any questions, questions before I jump, I jump into, into Draw Fusion? Fusion? Anyone, anyone have any, any questions? questions? All right. All right. Now, as now, far as, far as draw, draw Fusion goes, goes I deliberately went in and grabbed my creator software. software. For those, for those of you who have Composer, have right, now, right now we are waiting for Pulse, Pulse to add Draw Fusion back into Composer. I'm not sure how it got, got left out this time in this release. release. So, so again. They are, they are adding it back. It back. If, you if you absolutely have to use, use Draw Fusion, Fusion before, before the next release, again, again let, let one of us know in support, and we will hook you up, hook you up with a version, that, that older, older version that you could use, use it. Again, again if, you if you are not in immediate need of it, need then, of it, then uh, wait, uh, wait for, for the next release, and that will be added back in. What, what the Draw, the draw Fusion, Fusion tool allows, allows you to do is it allows, allows you to work side by side, side with Corel Draw. Right now, right now we just got confirmation from Pulse, Pulse that it is supporting X7, 2017, and 2018 of Corel Draw. Those are the only three versions supported in the software. So we're so going to go ahead, ahead and start a new file. file. You can, you can always, always go in, go in and use your recipes, recipes if you want. So this so is going to go on a sweatshirt. So I'm so going to go ahead and hit my Draw Fusion, fusion button. button. So this has Corel Draw open at the same time that my Pulse software is open. So this is actually my Corel window. So I can bring in my vector file. So I'm going to File Import. Again, it's asking where my files are. So again, you've got a couple vector files that we gave you. So I am going to grab mine. So we're going to work, work with this one. one. So, so first, first of all, all when you, you are, are again, again, if you, if you are, are using Corel, Corel you, have you have to be using, using X7. X7 2017 or 2018. Those are the Those only three versions of Corel, of Corel that will work with the software. The software. If, you if you are using one of those versions and you are getting a fail to create Corel, Corel error message, then you, then you may want, want to try and reinstall your Corel, Corel Draw. So that, so that would be um, an, um, an option to see if you can get that to use with the uh, draw, uh, draw fusion, fusion tool. tool. So it is, so it, is it, will it will be in, like, in, like I said, in the next, in the next release, release for those, for those people who only have, have composer. composer. Again, again, if you, if you 
have the creator and above that C icon is in your software. You do have to own CorelDRAW. We don't supply it, nor do we teach you how to use it. We are just allowing those people who own CorelDRAW to be able to use that with it. Um, if you have creator and above and, and you want to JPEG use JPEG files to digitize with, again, again you, can you can do that and that will be covered in the basic, in the basic digitizing class. Uh, withdraw, uh, withdraw Fusion because, fusion because it, is it is included at the lower, at the lower level. levels. We're going to look, look at it, at it um, first right here. Right here. So, once so once you have your design up, up Yes, yes, you have, you to, have to already own Corel Draw. Corel, Corel does, does bring everything, everything in grouped. grouped. So, when so when you come, you come in here, here I'm going to actually ungroup this. this. If, you if you don't ungroup it, it what, ends what ends up happening is that you can't put in commands. commands. So, you so you can regroup, regroup things if you want. So if you so want this to function as a whole piece, you can, you come, can up come up here, here so you can see how that, see how that goes here. up to here. So you can, so go, you can go between here, here, and, here. And, and here, and you can, can regroup, regroup it, so you can, so you can always go in and, and regroup things. things. But again, but again if you want to try and put commands in there, um, they, can't um, they can't be grouped. Be grouped. So, if so if you wanted to be able to put, for example, a trim between the E and the L, they have to be separate. But if you want the L through the C, to function, to function as, as one, one piece. piece. You can, you go, can in go in and select them. them. Okay. okay. So now, so now I, can I can go in here, in here and group it. Group it. Now what, now what it's going, it's going to, do, to do is, is it is going, going to look at, look what, at what kind of object, object this, is. this is. Okay, okay. So, it's so it's looking at, at so in this, so in case, this case, if, if I, select I select this, this oops, I missed, oops, I missed a part, didn't I? I want to so go, here, go here and here, and, here, and I want to group that. that. All right. All right. So once, so once you, you have, have that, that group, grouped, that'll, that'll function, function as, a as, a piece, as, a as a piece. Okay. Okay. Now the key, now the key is, is, is that, that you either are going to have an outline, an outline object, object or you're or going you're to have, have a fill, a fill object. Everything, Everything on here right is now is a fill object. object. Now, if now if I had a border, a border around, around here, so let's say I just draw this. this. So that's, so an, that's outline an outline object. object. So, first so first of all, any, any object, object that you're going to bring into Pulse has to be, to be a, curve. a curve. So you can so see, you that, see that, these that these are curves. So I'd have, so I'd to, have come to come in here, here and convert this to curves. I can go in here and change how wide it is. I can change, I can change the, the color. color. So you're going so to see, see when we get over, over and we can select things, things that, that outline objects and fill objects have different, have different items that they can, that they can be converted to. to. So, I have so I have these, these selected. selected. So this, so this is, my is my size up here. Up here. So let's so say, let's I, don't say I don't want this any more than four, four inches, inches wide. wide. So, I so I can say I want that four. So now, so now once, I, once have I have that the size, the size that I want, that I, want I, can I can go to file, file switch, switch. And then it's, and then it's asking, asking me what I want to do with these objects. objects. So, for so for my fill, fill objects, objects, they can, they can be a complex fill, fill a satin path. You can let, you can the, let the computer, computer choose. And then, you, and then can you can go and select it as an applique. I want all of my fill objects to be satins. Then it's, then it's asking what I want to do, do with outline objects. objects. Normally, Normally it wants them to be a running stitch. stitch. Now, in now in this case, 
I want these to function as a thick outline, and I want them to be a steel stitch. So I'm going to pick steel stitch for my thick outlines. And I'm going to say if it's at least a hairline, hairline that it's going to be a thick outline. outline. Again, Again, up to you. you. I'm going to click on OK. OK. And then then it's going going to actually actually auto-digitize that whole vector vector file. file. Okay. Okay. So once once it's over over here, here, you're you're still still going to have to go in and select select these pieces. pieces. You're going to have to put put in lock lock stitches, stitches, trims, trims, move around around the start and stop stop points. points. But again, again, it's gone gone ahead ahead and and created created the the object. Right. right. Well, actually, well, actually I shouldn't have grouped those. I shouldn't, those. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have combined them. them. So I'm going so to actually, actually go backwards. backwards. You, can go, you backwards. can go backwards. So I'm going so to delete, delete this from here. From here. I'm going to go hit, hit the corral button, button again, which is how you get in to draw fusion. fusion. I'm going to change the way my art setup is. I'm going to make sure the refresh is unchecked because I don't want to change anything about the art here. So instead of these being grouped, so there's, so my, there's red. my red. I'm going, I'm going to, to select, select from, from this goes all the way up to this one. This one. Oh, that one has to go object. object. Okay, so okay, they're so ungrouped. So I'm going to go from here to here. So here's the A. Here's the R. Here's the R. So from here to here, I'm going to go and combine these. I'm actually going to weld, weld them, them first. first. I did. I did. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There we go. There we go. I'm going to leave, leave this alone. alone. I'm going to go, gonna from, go here from here up to, up here. to here. And, and to weld these. these. And then we got got this. this. So now now I can can select select this. this. File File switch. switch. Gonna leave that that alone. alone. Hit OK. okay. Right. Right. If you don't don't have Corel Draw, draw, then then you don't don't have the ability to use this. this. So you would have to own Corel Draw and also know how to use it. So we so don't, we don't sell, sell Corel. So as far so as going into it, it you're going to go over, over here, here to that Draw Fusion, fusion button. button. That's what's going to open up Corel and, and Pulse at the same time. time. So, so like I said, you're still going to have to go in here, here and tell it where to start, where to stop. Put in lock stitches. So again, this is going to need a lock at the beginning of the end of the segment. And at the end, end, it's also going to need a trim. trim. Now you have to go in in here and fix anything anything that you didn't didn't like. like. So like we were were using using our our angle line line tool, tool. I don't like the direction direction this is going in. in. Then you're going to go go ahead and and change change that. that. If you, if need, you to need to edit, edit an, an angle line, line I mean a, the, uh, a slice, slice line, again, just, again, just like we did with our true types, you're going to have to go in your slice lines. lines. So let's say, so let's I, say want I want one here, here. and, and I want to move, move this one, one over here. here. And, and let's see, this one, this one this I'm going to move, gonna move over, over here. here. I'm going to get, gonna rid, get of rid of this one. one. So again, so again you, you have, have to start, start deciding, deciding how you how want this, want this to, go. to go. And then, and then one, one over here. here. And then hit, and then generate. hit generate. 
Again, if Again, in if doubt, doubt you know, not generated at any point. Then you have then to kind of look, kinda over, look here, over here. So this is kind of quirky, quirky here. here. So I'm going to so move, move this, this over here. I'm going to get rid of this, this one. one. I'm going to take this one. one. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay, okay here. here. Generate. Generate. And then go, and then into, go your into your angle, angle lines, lines though, because now, now you've got to look, gotta look at, at how, how these angle lines, lines are coming here. here. So just like so you were like fixing, fixing the true tight before, before, you're going to have, have to possibly go in here, here and do, and that, do here. that here. Same thing here, I'm going to get rid of this guy. guy. And this and one. Generate. Generate. That's better. That's better. So then, so then we've, got we've got our E over, e over here. here. So again, so again, again if, if you like the way the E is sewing, you can, you can leave it alone. You want to you change, change something about it? You could change, you could change it. it. Again, obviously, again, if it's not filling in properly, you end, you up, end fixing up fixing it. So you have to so kind of look, look at this. Let's look at the way the slices, slices are. are. Some of these, Some are, these fine. are fine. You may want to delete, like, like, I don't like this one. one. And this and one. one. Oh, actually, oh, that, that one. Control Z. That one's fine. fine. So that one's okay, okay here. Let's generate this. There. So that just fixed that. That just had that just a slice, slice where it didn't need to be. So we can so swing this, this over here. here. And that fixes, and that, fixes that. that. This needs, this some, needs extra some extra angle line, angle line right, right here. here. So you still, so still need, need to put, to put in, in lock, stitches lock stitches for this. For this. this is an this empty is an by, itself. by itself. So you can put so your you lock stitches and trims there. there. Then same then thing same here, thing you're going gonna to have to put in, in your lock, your lock stitches. stitches. And trim. your trim. Again, if you don't like the width of this, you can go into your steel width. Change, Change that. that. Um. As far as Corel draw, draw, is it, have you, have you tried to use draw, draw fusion and it's freezing, or Corel is just freezing? Because, because again, again, you do have to have quite a bit of RAM, RAM memory to run draw fusion. Um, I know um, when I, I, know when I upgraded my computer. My computer I mean, I've got, I mean, a, I've gaming got a gaming computer, computer right, now. right now. Um, it does, it does use, use quite a, quite bit, a of bit of RAM memory. memory. So you may so want to add, add more RAM, RAM memory, memory to your computer. And that might, and that help, might it help it from freezing. The other thing, the other is, thing watch is watch how many segments, segments, segments that, you that you have in one design. design. So a lot so of segments, segments and a lot of points, points can, also can also cause issues. Yeah, a standard, yeah, a standard PC, PC definitely, definitely runs the software when you start, when you start getting, getting into running multiple, running multiple programs, programs together, together at the same time. time it, does it does tend to, to um, um, it does tend to go, go ahead and eat that, eat that RAM memory up. up.
anyone have any questions? Yeah, definitely switching, switching back, back and forth, and forth does, cause does cause a lot of issues. issues. So, I so I try and switch back and, switch and, back and forth as well as possible. As possible. I mean, if, I mean, you, if need you need to, you can. To, you can. Um, but, but again, again you want, I mean, I did switch this one back once and it was okay. But you should be able to um, switch back and forth. But again, even with my computer, Eventually, eventually, well, you saw it crash once so today, so it, it ate up the RAM, up the RAM memory, memory pretty quick, pretty quick doing, doing some things. Um, the, um, the only other thing, thing that people would switch back and forth, back and forth for would be, would be let's, let's say you took something, something in your design, design for instance. Let's say you, let's took, say you this took this, and I'm going to move this out here. Out here. So you're changing something about your design that maybe you would want to have switched over, over in, in Corel. So let's say let's you're say actually, actually screening, screening this and, and you are ordering this. So if you, so if change, you change something, something over here, here so that, that angle lens, lens. I mean, I'm just fixing that because I, 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 I did this. Um, so I just, I just made this, this go outside. outside. So, so see how this is elongated now? now? So, if so if you want to talk back to Corel Draw, you can hit that Corel button again. And when that box comes up, if you hit refresh, it's going to refresh this on this side. So you can talk back and forth. Does anyone, Does anyone have, have any, any other, other questions? questions? Again, if Again, you do, you do have, have questions, questions, please post them in the chat, the chat box. box. Again, Again, if you, if you don't, don't have questions, questions you, are you are free to log, to log off. off. Um, Again, um, we, again, do we do have, have a review, review on Friday. Friday. So if, so you, if want you want to go ahead and work with what we've done here and then join us Tomorrow, tomorrow if, you if you want to, or you, or you can wait till the next review session. Review session. Again, that's Again, what they're, that's what they're for. There is no set, set curriculum, curriculum with, with those. So you can so come, you can in, come with in with any questions, questions that, you that you have. Does anyone, Does anyone have, have any, any questions, questions before, before we let you log, log off? off? Right, Draw Fusion, Fusion is only going, going to work with Corel Draw. That's, 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 that's its whole purpose. purpose. Again, Again, some, some of the upper level, upper level software, software products do have what's called Vector, called vector Import. import. So, they so they could, could um, work, work with a, with a design, design from Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, Illustrator directly. directly. But again, but Draw Fusion is strictly a Corel link up. Link up. Let's go back to. Um, again, again, importing Adobe Illustrator, Illustrator files, files is something that is, something that is done in, in the, digitizing the digitizing class, class so that's, that's where that would be. be. So that would so be, be in the advanced, the advanced lettering and basic, basic digitizing, digitizing class. class. So that's the, so that's next, the next one. one. I think I got, I think all, I got the all the questions. Let's see. As far as the trim over here, so if I'm over here with this design, and I want to and add, I want to add a trim off to the, off to the side, side. So, let's so let's say I have, I have this E selected, 
you want to add, you want to a, trim add a trim over here, over here. you're going to you're gonna go over, to, over the to the commands tab on the tab side on the and, and again where it says stop command, stop command that's, that's where I'm adding my trim and then the lock, and then the lock stitch, stitch is over is here under the, the connections, connections tab, tab. So again, so you've, again got you've got your start lock, lock and your end lock. lock. So again, so they're, again here they're here or, or at the they're top. at the top. Does anyone, anyone have, have any, any other, other questions? questions? All right, so we are going to let, let everyone go for, go for today. today. Again, I Again, do I thank, thank everyone, everyone for attending and hope, and we, hope see we see you on another, another webinar soon. Thank you. Thank you.